after all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. But then I realized you never change. You don't feel emotions, Connie. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. Are you armed? No. I don't have a gun. You're lying! I know you have a gun! I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. <clears throat> you bastard! You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Your goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should... Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. All I did was neutralize two machines, Lieutenant. I didn't hesitate for a second, if that's what you're asking. Or just a machine, designed to accomplish a task. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts. No mistakes, no weaknesses. Human being just like me, only perfect. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was
was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... My mission hasn't changed. So what are you going to do? I'm going to use the key that Kamsky gave me. And find Jericho. My mission is to solve this case. Nothing else matters. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Find the detonator. Don't worry. I always accomplish my mission. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Stay right there. Just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right, you win. No. He really liked you, Lieutenant. That's what killed him. I'm going to accomplish my mission, Lieutenant, whether you like it or not. I advise you to stay out of my way. Then one of us is gonna have a problem, Connor. Because I don't intend to let you have your way. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Killing you is not part of my mission. I'm glad to have met you, Hank. I hope 
One day you can get over what happened to your son. I didn't want to do that, Connor. You left me no choice. You can take my life. It doesn't matter anymore. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. And I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? Thousands of our people died today. What difference does one more make? Amanda? Amanda! What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust. But it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient and equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. 
You can go now. Okay.